Hi, I'm Corey from the Mark Costello Company, the service manager. Today I'm going to show you how to grease the doors on our sterilizer. Whenever uh, you need to grease the door on the vessel, you should always use a high temperature grease with a molly additive. These greases are normally water resilient and they're usually good for temperatures of 325 plus degrees. Now, the biggest complaint I hear with a sterilizer is the door is out of adjustment, it's leaking. Normally this is caused by the door not being lubricated. If it's not lubricated, the metal parts cannot slide together and it will not close correctly, thus it will not seal. So, when we grease the doors, I will normally take grease, I'll use either a brush or a grease gun or a rubber glove and I'll get a little grease on it. And the first area we want to do is what we call the ring and flange. You'll want to give it a good coating. I'll normally reverse the ring with the door open. And you want to give it a good coating in between the cleats on the back side of the ring. This is bare metal to metal. So you'll want to do each and every one of these cutouts. Once you're done with that, your next step takes a little more grease. Now you've got wedges that lock this door together and you'll want to put a little grease on the inside of each wedge. Doesn't take a lot, just a light coat. You need to do this about once a week on your vessel. Now I realize you also have wedges on the door itself. You do not need to do both. One surface or the other is fine. The other place you're going to want to grease is the machine surface of the door. You want to slip it right on the door itself where the gasket mates against the door. This is a mechanical seal. If it's dry, two things are going to happen. Number one, when it's filling, the seal cannot flip over to create a seal. And number two, sometimes when they get hot, you go to open it, it'll be stuck to that door and it'll pull right out of the groove. The seal right here will pull right out of the groove when you open the door. The final places you want to grease, let me get my grease gun a moment. Right back where your ratchet assembly is. You'll want to grease on the gear and rack just by putting some grease on there and running your rack back and forth. There is also a zerk fitting on the back side. You want to stick your grease gun on there, pump some grease in, and on the rear of the ring, are four or five depending on what size vessel you have little cam rollers and you're going to want to put your grease gun on the cam rollers and put a few shots of grease enough to see it squirt out and the final place is your door bearings these are regular dodge bearings they're high speed sealed bearings greasing them is not as critical but if you put enough grease in where you pop the seal you're going to have to grease it on a regular basis you'll just want to pull the cover Stick the grease gun on the Zerg and apply just like you would the other bearings.